All right, Brad, oh. this is a two-part stretch. And I'm in the middle of the first, first part. part. Yep. So I'm using stair rails, handrails, to support my arms. I'm getting stretch in my shoulders, my lats, my low back, my hips. You calf. could use the sink. Yep, you could grab anything about that level. Sink That's is solid. Yeah, solid. You can get your hands around so you don't right. go backwards. And Brad, what do you call this? The stretcheroo. 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 Nice general stretch. You're going to hold it here for 15 to 30 seconds as uh, you know, if you wanted to go longer, you could, but that's a good rule of thumb to start with anywhere between there. Oh, no pain. No pain. No pain. Yeah, if you are feeling pain, you have an injury or a, a joint replacement, you may not want to do this. Right. This is for general, generally healthy people. Okay, Brad, show them the second part of the stretch. Right, so after you've done that, the first part, you're going to drop down if you have steps. You go down to whichever step you feel comfortable with in regards to the stretch on your back and your hamstrings and your arms. I may start here. and It's then, a really good hamstring stretch. Yep, so lock the legs out, knees out for more hamstring, and arch your back. You'll feel it right back in here. And, you know, I like to do a little twist here to, to get the trunk and the size of the trunk along with it so we don't miss any parts of the body. You can drop down. Whoa, the hamstrings are starting back. to feel it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the hams are starting to feel it. Arch the back and then do it. Yep. The stretcheroo. Stretcheroo is right. And, you know, more flexible people, you can go down to here. Again, you're not trying to create any pain, just a gentle or normal stretch that, you know, use good judgment. If you do not have a staircase like this, we're going to show you some options with a chair or a stool. Great. Oh, Bob! You look flexy. Oh, flexy. I feel, I feel strong like bull. <laughs> yeah, so you can move around and adjust yourself. Again, 15 to 30 seconds, we'll get to a chair next. You go back and forth. What do you mean? The squat. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and just combine the, the two. Right. I, yes, that's a good, good option. And then strong like a bull. <laughs> okay, now, if you do not have the stairway at your house, use a chair, a sturdy chair with armrests, and then you can, you know, start out with the stretch as we talked about for your 15 to 30 seconds, arching and et cetera. And then and go lower. drop down right. to here. You can do the, you know, here. Uh, like I said, the first one, I'm sorry, he's here. The only thing is, it's got to be a sturdy chair because if you lean back, obviously we want to stay right. stable. Um, you could use the sink and the chair. Right, yep, put the chair, use the sink to hold on a little higher. Uh, the sink really works out well, you know. It's, uh, I agree. Right, I think that's why they made sinks, is partially for exercising. Well, <laughs> well, you know, over the years we've done that many times with Patience, go home, hold on to the sink so that's your right. fingers are around it, and do your leg exercises. Well, good that's point, just a good point. Yeah, if you're a therapist, you get what we mean. Otherwise, yeah. it's just blabble. Adios. Take care. Stretch through.